So, I am jobless. Good morning guys! Welcome back to my channel. It's 6.30 in the morning. It's quite early. Para sa mga katulad kong hindi naman morning person but today tayo yung alay ng pamilya para sa grocery. So let's do this. And also gusto ko rin makita kung anong uh, itsura ng Olonga po City while we are on GCQ ito yung first time na lalabas ako dito sa Olongga po na GCQ siya nasa Manila ako for the past 2 months and yeah, let's see it actually feels like it's just a normal day. I guess it's still too early kasi sarado pa yung grocery. Naglakad lang ako from uh, from our house to the grocery store. I decided to walk kasi as you all know guys, now we're all locked up for more than two months now, I believe. Yung lifestyle natin is naging sedentary na siya. You know that it's not good for a health. Talaga ba? The nearby park is also closed. Marikit Park is closed. I don't know if it's closed because it's still too early or it's closed because of the lockdown. So, so it's already 7 in the morning and ka open lang ng grocery. So let's buy some stuff for the house since yun naman talaga yung pakay natin dito and after this we'll go home because that's the protocol right so sumahan nyo ako tara Na tayo, then let's go home. Okay. And we're back. As you can see, nasa bahay na ako. I wasn't able to film the whole thing actually. Because I am thinking of ways on how I will be able to put some substance onto this specific vlog. Because I don't want it to be just me or to show just me going to the groceries, buying some stuff for the house because that would be a trash content. Well, at least for me. So I've decided to share with you guys the real effects of this crisis. People like me who belongs to the middle class or are middle class employees. So to give you guys a short backstory of what happened, na magdeclare yung company namin ng temporary closure due to the nationwide lockdown, isa ako sa mga employees na nasa probationary status pa. Two to three weeks na lang, regular na sana ako, sayang, hindi umabot. We were actually given our full salary until the 25th of April pa naman. After that, Wala na. And it's okay kasi yun naman yun na pag-usapan namin along with the 
human resource ng kumpanya. And we were just hoping that everything will be okay sooner. Kasi, pag magbubukas na ulit yung kumpanya, syempre, bago kami pabalikin, uunahin muna ng pabalikin yung mga regular employees. On May 29, there was an online meeting with our boss. And it was attended by all employees who are in a probationary status in our department. So, we're jobless. I am jobless until further notice. We were told na regular employees will be called back to work in a span of two to three months. And us, of course, later. So it's safe to say that we will be jobless and broke for four more months. Despite this, I am still grateful for the company for giving us the assurance that our jobs will still be waiting for us to come back after all of these are over. But still, it will be very challenging. It will be very tough since for most of us, our job is our only bread and butter. And being that said, my heart goes to those people, to those employees who totally lost their jobs in the middle of this crisis, in the middle of this pandemic. Imagine the tedious process of applying for a job, especially if you're trying your luck in Manila, walking under the heat of the sun, enduring long hours of being stuck in a traffic without any assurance that you land that job that you're applying for. And the biggest question there is right now, after this huge blow in our economy, Will there be enough number of job opportunities for these people? I know that this is inevitable since we are in a national crisis, or world crisis rather. But the point is, hindi rin po ito madali para sa aming mga middle class. Contrary to what some of our politicians, some of our national leaders believe in, hindi rin po ito madali para sa amin. Kung wala kaming trabaho, wala kaming kikita eh. Hindi naman kami mayaman, pero hindi rin kami qualified para sa mga assistants na binibigay ng gobyerno. Pero gusto ko lang linawin na this is not a fight between the middle class and the poor. This should be us versus that twisted system. Ang maling sistema ang kalaban natin sa mga panahong ito. There is this short illustration na nabasa ko, na hindi ko makalimutan, and let me just share this with you guys. In a room, there are three people. One is corrupt, one is middle class, and the other one is poor. Tapos sa isang table, there is a dozen of donuts. Corrupt took 11 donuts all for himself, leaving only one donut for the poor and the middle class. Pagkatapos niyang kunin yung 11 pieces sa donuts na yun, binulungan niya yung middle class. Kunin mo na yung donut. Kasi, nanakawin niya ng mahirap sa'yo. Making the middle class believe that his enemy is the poor and not this corrupt entity. Are you getting the hang of it? That is how exactly the system is trying to drive both of us, the middle class and the poor. And we should be very vigilant. We should open our eyes. Tayo ang magkakampi laban sa maling sistema. Hindi tayo magkalaban dito. So, to adapt to my current situation of being jobless, I am planning to open a mini food business that maybe I'll be sharing with you guys on my next vlogs. And I hope some of you can help me about it. And yeah, life goes on. Quitting will never be an option. Never. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you for listening. Uh, I'm sorry if it feels like I made a rant out of this vlog. I just feel like I just want to say it even in one vlog. Lang. Kahit sa isang vlog lang. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can update my next vlogs. So I will see you guys around. Stay safe. Peace out.